Okay, so our next wine is Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer is an aromatic grape variety. Read up on this in your textbook. I'm sure you have already, but um, do have another look about the characteristics that you can expect from Gewürztraminer. Particularly note whereabouts in the world you'll find this growing and also note any labelling terms that are important with this. There is a very clear quality definition for styles of Gewürztramina uh, in Alsace in France which is where well it's where my sample comes from and it's where most Gewürztramina uh, comes from as well. Uh, as I said earlier well this is let's Okay, let's start work on the systematic approach to tasting and we'll talk about it as we uh, as we go through. Right, this has definitely got more depth of colour than we've seen in a lot of the wines that we've tasted in our videos. So I'm going to go with gold. Gewürztramina actually has a slightly pinky skin to it, so you often get a little bit of colour extraction, even just in the press. Uh, without any length of skin contact you get that little bit of colour and I think this is medium level so let's go with medium gold on the nose clearly picking it up at my chin so we're going to go pronounce with this one and the aroma characteristics oh my gosh right primary characteristics we have got peach and apricot without doubt lychee as well do you know what? If you're not familiar with lychees, you can buy tinned lychees in most supermarkets, certainly in Chinese supermarkets. Go and get yourself a tin of lychees and uh, you'll know exactly what I mean. Honeysuckle, dried apricot as well and honey. So we're getting some tertiary characteristics here. No secondary, but a little bit of tertiary honeysuckle and rose as well. Again, if you're not familiar with rose, get yourself some rose water from the supermarket. Uh, orange blossom oh my goodness really floral okay which is one of the reasons why we often talk about Sauvignon Blanc sorry Gewürztraminer being aromatic okay but the key take home here is complexity we have covered I don't know I've lost track loads of clusters here which definitely takes us into the complex category right on the palette Okay, there is some residual sugar here. I think we're off dry. We're not quite medium sweet. We've definitely got some off dry, an off dry level of sugar in this uh, particular wine. The acidity though is low. Think back to the Riesling. If you've watched the Riesling video already, you'll be aware how high that acidity was. It's not there with this wine. So some people, um, don't appreciate that lack of acid balance in Gewürztraminer but what Gewürztraminer gives you instead is texture lovely silky richness really rich intensity of flavor so what it lacks in acidity it gives you in other elements of the wine as well therefore we can still say that this wine even though it's lower in acid still has great balance to it as well no tannin Alcohol, medium, about 13 and a half. Gewürztraminer and gets quite high in alcohol and the body is full, definitely full with this wine. Flavour intensity, again, we go straight for pronounced. And the finish, ah, okay, so I think the finish is perhaps a little on the short side. Not short, but medium uh, on the finish. I think that's perhaps the one thing that this wine is lacking a little, uh, is perhaps a little bit of finish, a little bit of concentration as well. So I'm going to go with very good because it has a huge amount of complexity. It is very balanced and again, another very enjoyable wine. Gewürztraminer is particularly great with spicy foods. I don't know whether you've ever tried it with Asian uh, style cooking Chinese Japanese really good with for example as well Korean food all of those sorts of uh, Asian styles of, of food work really well because it has such an intense character to it it stands up really well to the intensity of flavor that you get with Asian style cooking 
hope you enjoyed that something a little bit different remember put comments on the uh, on the forum post let me know what you thought of it